Now we're going to be talking about angles in the unit circle. Coterminal angles or equivalent angles on the unit circle. A reference angle will be the shortest angle to the x-axis. Uh, it's going to be between 0 and 90. A lot of times we're going to be asking you to convert you know, positive or negative angles into uh, a coterminal angle that is between 0 and 360. Two strategies you have for that are a graphical or visual strategy which utilizes the unit circle. And the other would be an algebraic strategy where we add and subtract 2 pi until we find that coterminal angle that we're looking for. Let's take a look at a couple examples. What angle in the unit circle is coterminal with 17 pi over 6? Okay, so typically, I, I probably missed on the instructions here, we would want to say that that angle needs to be between 0 and 2 pi. Okay, so when I, when I do this, I have two options. Uh, one is the visual where I look at the unit circle and I count all the pi over 6's, which is sometimes hard to do because we have reduced fractions there. So the other uh, method would be to take 17 divided by 6. Uh, and then 6 goes into 17 twice, 12 with the remainder 5. This number here tells me where to begin. It's even. So I start at 0 on my unit circle. I start at 0. Okay. And I go 5 6 farther. So if I find 5 6 on my unit circle after 0, I end up with 5 pi over 6. Okay. The other option would be to take the 17 pi over 6 and subtract 2 pi from it. When I do that, I end up with 5 pi over 6. Okay. Uh, let's try the negative one. What angle in the unit circle is coterminal with negative 7 pi over 4? The visual would be to use the unit circle and find 7 pi over 4 first. Okay, so on my unit circle, 7 pi over 4 is right here, positive. Then if it's a negative 7 pi over 4, I simply reflect that, okay, over the x-axis, just like you would a parabola, to realize that pi over 4 is my best answer. Okay, the algebraic strategy would be to take negative 7 pi over 4 and add 2 pi to it. And when I do that, I get pi over 4. What are the coordinates at each uh, given angle? Uh, this will probably actually be on the next video, sorry about that. But uh, remember that uh, on our unit circle, if we're studying that and we know that, we're looking at this angle, 5 pi over 3. Uh, I find that on my unit circle. Okay, my unit circle is in my head, and that uh, angle is right there, and the coordinates there are 1 half, negative root 3 over 2. Okay, so 1 half, negative root 3 over 2. Okay, negative 14 pi over 4. Now that's a tricky one because it's bigger than 2 pi and it's negative. So we're going to utilize a couple strategies here. Uh, first, I'm going to take that negative 14 pi over 4, um, and I'm going to divide 14 by 4, which goes 3 times. Okay, uh, 2 is my remainder, so 3 and a half. Okay, so remember 3 is odd, so odd means I start here, and I'm going half farther, which is 3 pi over 2. But it's negative, so I need to reflect that 3 pi over 2 over the x-axis, to pi over 2. And the coordinates at pi over 2 are 0, 1. The other strategy would be algebraic. If I took negative 14 pi over 4 and I added 2 pi to it, I would get what? Uh, let's see here, negative 6 pi over 4. So I'm still not there yet. I'd have to add 2 pi again. That's the, that, that's the bad part about that. If you're using that strategy, I get 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2. Same answer I found here. Okay, but again, the coordinate there is what I was looking for, x comma y, 0 comma 1. Determine the exact value of each of the following. That's the next video. We'll get back to that. Okay, we'll skip that for now.